Operation Moonshoot, or officially the first Air Force International Geophysical Year Lunar Probe. Packed with instruments, including an electronic scanning device to send back crude pictures of the moon, this is the key component. The fourth stage, or payload, they hope will orbit around the moon 226,000 miles away. As pioneering as man's bravest discoveries, fraught with the uncertainty of the unprecedented. But there must be a start. The mighty rocket, tall as eight stories, built atop the Thor ballistic missile, generating about 150,000 pounds of thrust. In the night hours, the complex vehicle is readied for blast-off. Cape Canaveral is in proper astronomical relationship to the moon. The $4 million rocket is ready. In the morning hour, the time 0718, the lunar probe attempt is underway. Seconds are as though hours for those who wait. The planners, the rocket men, the observers, they wait. The vicinity of the moon in about two and a half days is the hopeful goal. At about 50,000 feet, only 77 seconds after launching, watchers see a plume of white smoke suddenly shoot out from the rocket. It is the end, the explosive end of dream and toil. The malfunctioning of any of 300,000 parts could have been the cause. The lunar probes will go on.